G'day legends, it's the Lurker here. I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who aren't already subscribers, please consider subscribing below and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you're not missing any new videos. Honestly, do it. It's fucking sick. Oh, what's wrong today, Uncle Lurker? Well, I'm so glad you guys asked. Scammers. I fucking hate them. And I almost got scammed today. That's right. I'll show you what happened shortly, but I think scammers are the lowest form of low. I think they just suck on the lives of the weak and the innocent, and they're just low-life leeches. Anyway, I'll show you the video now. Oh, welcome back. So glad you guys could join me. Anyway, just to show you sort of the background on this, this is what I was selling my iPhone 7. I upgraded to an iPhone X or XS. So I was selling my old iPhone 7. Why not? It still works really well and I don't need it. I put it up on eBay and I think I set the bid at about $100 or in the buy now at $400. Anyway, it was bought on the first night by this T. Lou 77, who is Terry Lewis. Anyway, he basically told me he was out of Australia. The gift was for his son in America. He'd pay $90 shipping if that was okay with me. I said, yep, no problems. Just let me know when you've done the payment. He said he would let me know and yeah, go from there. So anyway, we get up here and I basically, it went about four days and I hadn't heard anything from him. So I sent him an email saying, what's going on with the payment? So he sent me an email going, PayPal requires your PayPal email verification. So I need to confirm your email before I can continue with the payment. I wait to hear from you soon. Okay, no problem. So I sent him my email for PayPal and I get this. Now, mind you, I opened this on my phone and all I could see was this part. I couldn't see that. Now, as you can see, the email looks pretty genuine. You've got the PayPal um, logo there. Then you've got the transaction ID, the date, my sort of thing. Terry Lewis sent you a payment of $490. Payment sent to Liam Humphrey 626 at hotmail.com and all the eBay details down there. So, you know, everything looks legit there, especially when all you can see is that part. Now, obviously, that part's a clue for later on onto how we figured this out. So, I get to the next email and he says, Payment sent, please check your confirmation. Um, da -da 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 -da. There was another email sent from his AOL. It'll be in this email. Just give me two seconds. So, he sent me an email basically saying, Hello. I finally managed to sort out the payment issue. This purchase is a surprise present for my son. Please do all you can to ship the item today. So this is when alarm bells started ringing using the Australian Postal Service. The parcel will be picked up by his personal assistant. So obviously he's a rich little boy. Below is the name of his personal assistant and the shipping address confirmed. Shipping address Thomas B. Coons, 11923 Northeast Sumner Street. Uh, Portland, Oregon, United States. I will suggest you take it straight to the post office and get it shipped manually immediately. Once the shipment is made, you can then insert the tracking number on eBay. It is the same process, but a bit longer. Just creating a shipping label online. Should you not receive the payment confirmation, check your spam folder. I found mine in there. Thanks and regards awaiting your swift response. Now, obviously, the reason I should have probably checked my spam folder is because it is spam. You prick. So, then, today, I check my PayPal and I see nothing's in my PayPal. I start to question this and I give PayPal a ring and say, what's going on? I haven't received the payment. PayPal say to me, we haven't sent you any confirmation emails. I said, I've got it right here. And they said, no, that's we haven't sent you anything check the email and I said well it's from a paypal.com email and they said click on it and when you click on it on your phone this comes up the fund for clearance at gmail.com clearly not an official paypal email so that's when obviously I went thank you so much I'm really glad I called they then sent me an email showing their what their actual email is which is obviously service at paypal.com.au obviously a bit different so i was very glad i made that call and then i sent terry an email back so this is my response to terry hi terry 
Nice try. I just got off the phone to PayPal. The email confirmation is not from a PayPal email and is a scam. Will you actually be making the payment or will I re-put on eBay? Let me know. Please note, I will not be sending until payment is rece received. You scamming cunt. Whoa! Watch your language there, small screen lurker. Actually, fuck it. I agree with small screen lurker. They are a bunch of cunts. Now listen to big screen lurker. Fuck all you scammers. If you're a scammer, you are the lowest form of fucking low. You are an absolute leech and a scumbag. Stop preying on the weak and the innocent. Go out and make a living like a normal human being, you cunt. Because otherwise one day, when you're walking through a dark alley, you might see your Uncle Lurker in the middle of the night, and he'll give you a little fright, and it won't be a pretty sight. So think about that, motherfuckers, and cut it out. Jesus Christ, isn't close screen Lurker a scary guy? Anyway, guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, don't be like Rice Gum. Cheers.